Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts and I'm back with another video about Windows Phone 7. Two things I want to go into uh, in this video. One of them is I want to take a closer look at the Xbox Live uh, game. So I went over this a little bit in my intro video, but there's a couple kind of uh, Im Im important things um, that I wanted to kind of check out. Now, one of the things here is that you can click on your avatar and it automatically load uh, the, the mobile version of the Windows Phone site. Now, as you can tell, this is under construction because technically this website hasn't launched yet, but it looks like the URL is uh, windowsphone.xbox.com uh, slash mobile. So there's going to be obviously some sort of a mobile experience. Slight tangent, I'll show you how the multiple uh, tabs work in the browser. Uh, so you can actually just simply click on the X and kind of open it, and then if there's, or sorry, it'll shut it down. If there's a browser tab that you want to open, then this is this is what it would actually look like. So in this instance, this is Windows Phone Thoughts. As you can see, I can uh, you know double tap. I can rotate the browser and it will uh, rotate there. As you can see, uh, you know, pinch to zoom, basically everything works. It's very fast, it's very fluid. Um, the rendering time maybe isn't quite as snappy as I might like it to be, but overall, you know, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good experience. So let's just go back here to Xbox Live Games. Now, it, it says it's updating there, up in the, uh, the, the upper right hand corner here, so I'm not quite sure what it's updating. There's some achievements here. No, it won't let me do that either. Again, a lot of this stuff is going to start working uh, once everything is sort of uh, officially turned on. There's a few different uh, games here, so I'm going to click on Get More Games, and it should take me into, yeah, it's taking me into uh, the marketplace. So let me just... Um, let me just actually get get out of that and go into the marketplace because that was something I wanted to show you in more detail. So, again, this is it's going to look a little bit different once the once the launch happens. But for instance, eBay has an app in here right now. It's at zero dollars. Um, I can see screenshots um, of the app. Actually, sorry, I guess I want to do it this way. I can see screenshots of the app. I can see you know what it looks like. I think okay, yeah, that 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 looks pretty cool. I click on install. Uh, it says allow access to location. So yeah, you know, I want to allow eBay to, to see where it is. I'll confirm purchase. I'm going to click on install and then uh, it's going to go ahead and it's going to purchase the app. And then just like it did in my first video, I can go over here and check install in it. And in that incredibly tiny little pixie font, you can see that it's actually downloading the app. It'll be finished here in a couple of seconds, but I can go back in here. Um, I can check out, you know, the apps. And now there's a few different things here. These are um, obviously all different categories of apps. They also have uh, top apps, you know, so there's Star Wars Battle for Hoth. So this actually looks pretty cool. Now, again, because this is tied into your Microsoft Passport, um, it's very similar to how iTunes, you know, works with your credit card. So if I want to actually buy this app, um, I would uh, click on click on buy, and it would charge five dollars and forty nine cents to the credit card associated with my Windows Live Passport. So in that case, that that would work fine for me. I want to click on try though because I actually want to check this out. So I'm I'm going to click on install. I'm going to initiate the uh, download. I can click on check install. It's downloading it there. Well, it's downloading though. I can uh, click on some screenshots and I can actually check out, you know, um, what this what this game looks like. It looks like pinch to zoom and double tap. Uh, they're not active for this particular um, game. Uh, oh, actually, I take it back. It looks like we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a. I don't know if that's a lock up there because it's because it's uh, downloading it or or what that was. I guess we'll go back out here for just a second and. Um, Actually, I'll go back into Marketplace because what I want to see is if the eBay app actually installed. Yeah, so it says one downloaded. So if I go over here to my apps, yeah, there we go. There's the eBay app right there. Uh, I can pin to start, uninstall, or rate and review, which is pretty cool. So if I click pin to start, now all of a sudden I have the eBay app there, so it's immediately available. So if I'm an eBay junkie, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin the app, so that's pretty cool. So right now it's loading up the app. Uh, looks pretty cool. Graphics look, you know, uh, quite nice. Um, terms of use, yes, I'll accept your terms of use blindly without even reading them, because that's just the kind of guy I am. Uh, okay, yeah, kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Turn on notifications. I'm going to say no, because I don't really want to be notified. So, what this is, this actually looks like, it's basically an eBay hub, so eBay has built an app on the hub uh, concept. So if there's if if there's something that I'm uh, I'm looking for here. So let's say I wanted to look for uh, comics. Hmm, Kimmix. No, that's not going to work. So you notice that there was no autocorrect here. 
So I don't know if that's because, uh, boy, it seems like it's kind of, um, maybe because it's installing some stuff in the background, it, it's a little bit sluggish. And believe it or not, this keyboard is pretty easy to use. It's just hard to do this kind of on, on camera. Anyway, we'll go ahead here, we'll, we'll do a search. So this should be, you know, so this is the app actually going out and doing a search for auctions or kind of buy it now. And um, if I'm interested in Marvel Tales number 33, you know, I'm going to go in here and it'll show me the item details. So this is just an example of the kind of apps that uh, people are designing for Windows Phone. Obviously, Windows Phone is basically starting over from scratch with Windows Phone 7. So the people out there, the developers that Microsoft is trying to woo, it's super, super important for them to get high quality app developers on board right from the get go. And they have some great quality apps that are coming out from some big name players like EA and whatnot. But the real question, of course, is whether or not third party developers really embrace this. Let's, let's go into photo. Let's see what's in the catalog here. If there's anything, again, there may or may not be. Yeah, so it, it looks like they're starting to um, they're starting to uh, put up you know apps uh, in here. So let's say I want to do uh, pictures lab. Let's see what this is. It is the ultimate picture effects application. So I see that there's there's a couple different screenshots, and you can see they're 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 sort of they're sort of streaming down right now. Uh, can't get picture. Okay, let's try something else. I can see it downloading it, so let, let's just try that again. There we go, so picture effects. Yeah, so these are basically all the different pictures, effects that the app can do. So the app story looks promising from the start. Certainly this is more promising than Windows Mobile 6.5 was right out of the gate, but uh, whether or not this really takes off, uh, you know, we're gonna kinda have to uh, wait and see. So that was basically um, the app. The app store that I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how um, pinning worked. I also want to show you something else too. You can press and hold on this, and it says you can say, uh, you know, uh, this is basically voice command, right? So you can say, call someone, find coffee. Let's just say, find pizza in Calgary. Domino's Pizza, Tuscany, or Panago Pizza. Okay, so. Um, Pizza. I'm going to click back. And so what that was is it was actually looking looking at my contact list and it was offering to call one of those places because it has the word pizza in the title. Um, but yeah, you can, you, you can also do search. You can do search up here. Let's try this. Uh, health food store. Oh, I might have kind of screwed that up here. Cheddars. Yeah, no, that's not really what I was looking for. Let's try that again. Health food store. There we go. So now it's searching, it found health food stores, it found things on the web. When I click on local, it'll actually show me health food stores that are close to my location. And if I want to click on one of them, I can get directions from my location uh, and it should automatically kind of get it. Um, yeah, see, so basically that's it right here. I, I can get directions. So again, Really, really beautiful integration. Um, it, it, this is absolutely, positively the most integrated phone that Microsoft has ever shipped in terms of tying in applications with services and having everything just kind of work properly right, right out of the gate. So um, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty positive about this. Whether or not you like the interface, it, it really kind of depends. Honestly, it kind of has to grow on me. One thing that's worth noting about the interface is that there are some limited customization options. The background can be dark or light, and then you can also change the color to any of these colors. So if I say I wanna do red, I wanna do white, well then boom, that's my new interface. But right now, that's basically it. Basically, you're changing the background color from black to white, and you're changing the color. So not a ton of customization, though you can customize the lock screen, which is you know gonna be worth it for some people. All right, so up next, I'm gonna do a video showing synchronization with the Zoom desktop software, and we'll see what the uh, photo and video app looks like. So stay tuned. This has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. Thanks for watching.